Essentially, this instrument is designed to grind the bone or teeth into a powder. That finite so that powder. This tooth uh, is going to end up being tooth powder. Holds the answers for investigators. And this is just called a freezer mill. Working to identify human remains. At the British Columbia Institute of Technology campus in Burnaby, Canada, forensic analysts work to extract DNA. So the tooth is gone and it's just some powder on the bottom of the tube here. This is the same process they use to identify human feet that have been washing ashore for decades. A black right sneaker by the size of it, probably a man's, washed ashore sometime Friday near Pillar Point. A human right foot washed ashore today. Neighbors say two older couples found it. Since last August, five human feet have washed up on the shores of British Columbia. Our process tells us how much DNA we have and what the quality of that is. Once they have their DNA profile, they then compare it to a national database to potentially find a match. In 2009, a right foot was found by someone here at the Fraser River. That was then taken to the BC coroner's office for analysis. An analysis then showed them that foot belonged to a man who went missing in 2008. We have identified 16 feet. It's a great feeling, fantastic feeling. Emotional, yes. Hard, yes. My name is Tanya Janic. I am identification analyst of the British Columbia Coroner Service. The uniqueness of our unit is, you know, we don't have ID, we don't have driver's license, we don't have family saying, oh, that's someone there that they know. We start from scratch. This is just like a foot, a bone, a skull, a mandible, and we start from there. All the way up to saying, yes, this is so-and-so, so-and-so died on such and such a day, and it's a closure. Investigators also know why the feet wash ashore. The body decompose and body disarticulate very fast in the water. It's a process of after we die, that's what happens. Body falls apart. Just because the shoes are flotation device, no, no mystery, but there's nothing that is uh, scary.